It begins with a single bite, a simple apple, crisp, fresh, alive. As the body turns transparent like glass, every organ becomes visible. The brain, the lungs, the heart, the stomach. Nothing is hidden now. This is where the journey starts. The apple reaches the stomach. In this clear, crystal-like space, digestion quietly begins. Natural acids break it down, slowly, patiently, turning food into fuel. No sound. No rush. Just a process perfected by nature. The apple moves forward, deeper inside into the intestines where real nourishment happens. Tiny glowing particles separate, passing through the intestinal walls, entering the bloodstream. Each one carries energy, vitamins, balance. As these nutrients travel, the body starts to glow. Organs light up like glass sculptures, muscles awaken. The heart beats with a steadier rhythm. What was once an apple is no longer food, it is energy. Inside the transparent brain, neurons begin to spark. Signals move faster. Focus sharpens, clarity rises, the apple feeds the mind as much as the body. The nutrients reach the muscles, flowing through every fiber. Strength builds quietly. Recovery begins, the glow grows stronger with every movement. Deep within the intestines, the microbiome comes alive. Good bacteria thrive. Balance returns, digestion finds its rhythm again, unseen but powerful. At the core of the body, a warm light pulses. Energy spreads outward, filling every cell, not artificial, not forced, just natural power. But balance matters, for some, the stomach reacts. A faint redness appears, a sign of sensitivity, the body speaking in subtle warnings. In others, the skin responds. A flush of red spreads across transparent flesh, the immune system alert, cautious. Too much, too often, and sugar floods the blood. Glucose particles rush through clear veins faster than the body can control. And when balance is lost, the glow begins to fade. Cells dim, movement slows, fatigue settles in quietly. An apple is never just an apple. In balance, it heals, in excess, it warns. The body always speaks, if we are willing to look inside. 